Hello, welcome to the first of five Autodesk tutorials for the scheme of work, the MP3 speaker unit. What you can see on the screen um, is the first part that we're going to build in today's video. Um, it's the casing for the MP3 unit. Um, there's a number of skills involved, I'll just show you around the model. Okay, and I'll just minimise the part and I'm going to create a new part to talk you through how to build that. So when you download the program the settings will be standard inches IPT but we want to be working to the British standards so you need to remember always to go to metric and you want the standard millimetres IPT which is a which is a standard part in line with the British standards so we can create that just maximise the screen and I'm going to create a sketch <clears throat> I'm going to build every single part on the front plane so that's this one here, select that and we're in sketch mode select my rectangle, I'm just going to draw any size rectangle and then I'm going to constrain it to the mid plane point there we go, it's a fully constrained rectangle I'm just going to dimension this to my dimensions. Obviously you'll have your own designs that you've created in previous lessons uh, so you can dimension yours to the si correct sizes for your design. <clears throat> now I'm just going to use the offset tool to create an offset and a profile that we can extrude and again I'm just going to dimension to the correct size for me. So I can finish the sketch bring that to the middle of my screen, we've got the 2D profile if I click extrude we can turn this into a 3D model so I'm just going to select the correct profile 30 millimeters. enter now you can see I've got my 3D profile of the sketch I've just created ok so let's put that back in the home view and now I'm going to fill it to the edges so I'm going to select the fillet tool, the top here, and I'm going to change the radius. I'm going to use two different um, dimensions here. For the first ones, the outside ones, I'm going to use 30. So I can just click around each line really easily like so, and apply. And then I'm going to change it to 20 millimeters and select the lines on the inside. I can just work around the model. So, apply, close that tool, and there's your fillets there. Nice, neat profile for the edge. Take it back to the home view, and now I want to create um, the back plate to make this a, a solid piece that we can uh, connect other parts and uh, components to in the assembly. So, what I'm going to do is create a sketch, and I'm just going to flip the model and create that on the back face there and I'm going to use the project geometry tool just to pull through really quickly the lines from the sketch uh, the first sketch that we created so I've pulled them all through and I can finish the sketch and now if I click extrude we should have we should be able to select the profiles yep so we can so I can select this middle profile uh, and obviously I want mine to be going up through the part so I'm just going to change the direction and I only want it to go up 2 millimeters into the part so I change that to 2 millimeters. hit OK you can see there we've got a nice solid back plate that we can use to connect other parts and components to so I'll take that back to the home view and then now what I want to do is create holes into the back plate that we can join our other components uh, to when we're assembling the product. So, to do so, I am going to um, create a sketch again. I'll create this same as before onto the back face of the product. I'm going to use the center points of the fillets that we created before just so that I know the holes in a nice, neat, and accurate place. So I can go along the top to the 3D model 
select hull and change the settings I want count sunk hulls I want them to be 2 millimeters. And, and now I can simply click each of the center points press ok and if I just rotate the model zoom in you can see there I've got a nice count of sunk hull so I'm just going to hone that next thing to do is create a recess or a little ridge for the grill component that we're going to make in video 3 um, I know the sizes of that and I know where it's going to fit so I'm going to create a sketch again I want that on the top face this time and what I'm going to do is use project geometry tool again to bring the lines through just click on each line same as before and I'm going to offset again so I can select the offset tool and I should be able to select all them lines I can pull the offset up and again I'm just going to use a dimension tool to offset that to 3mm which I know is the size that I need for my model again yours might vary, might be different so just use the dimensions that you've created or designed in the previous lessons so I've set the dimension for that and I can finish the sketch and now I am going to extrude uh, this time I'm going to extrude cut and I want to cut down 3mm because I know the material I'm using the thickness of it is 3mm so if I highlight, select 3mm select the correct profile press ok you can see there that I've created the ridge that the grill is going to sit nicely onto when we assemble the product uh, the last two things that we need to do is create um, some holes in the sides so that you can access the power of the auxiliary cable and the on off button that are on the PCB board so to do so I know from the designs that I want to uh, create a hole on this face here so I'm going to create a sketch select the face and what I want to do first is create a construction line so if I highlight the construction tab in the format section get my line find the green dots so the middle just click in, you see we've got a dashed line there that shows it's a construction line and then I'm just going to put one simply straight across there anywhere because I can dimension that and I know that I want that construction line to be 10 from the bottom so I've put that in there unhighlight the construction line and I'm going to put in a rectangle and again I'll simply put any sizes in make sure it's locked to your construction line that you just created and I can get my dimensions so I know from my designs to the center line there it's 21 millimeters and from the edge here it's 4 millimeters okay and the size I want mine to be is 10 millimeters okay so I've got my uh, dimensions of the hole, I think it's in the correct place, I can finish the sketch and again I'm just going to extrude the cut so this time I'm going to select cut, select my profile and this time instead of having distance I'm going to go to two next so you know that that takes it to the next face so if I press OK and just look around you can see that it's just cut exactly where I wanted to on that face there and the last hole that I wanted to create now is this time I want to create a circular hole um, for the auxiliary cable to be able to uh, for us to be able to access the auxiliary cable so I'm just going to rotate my model because I know that I want to build on this face so if I create a sketch select that face pulls it round and same as before I just want to create a center line construction line just as a reference for, to make sure I build in the correct place so I can unhighlight that now and as I said before I'm going to create a circular one so I've got a circle I make sure it locks onto this centre line that I've just created and I'm just going to change the dimension there before I press centre to 12 and hit enter there we go I've got a 12 mil hole and I'm just going to dimension the centre of that to the bottom of this face I know that I want that to be 15 millimetres if I hit enter the circles located in the correct place so I can finish the sketch 
and I can extrude cut this profile to the next face. Press OK again. You can see there that that's cut through and that's the access for the auxiliary cable. So I'm just going to home that there. And that's basically how we're going to make the first part of the casing from video one. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking through and showing you how to create the component holder. Thanks for listening.